And we need to talk. What is it, love? I know what you did. I'm lost. You poisoned Uncle Marcus. You tried to kill him. Tried? Yeah. He's gonna survive. We... We found the antidote in time, so... You can't prove it. You really think that we'd be having this conversation if I couldn't? I know everything. Is he really going to live? Yeah. It's over, Nan. You don't understand. I didn't have a choice. I had to protect the family. That's all this has ever been about. Marcus always knew there was more to the story about his dad, my Eddie. But if I didn't act, we wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't have anything. Just tell me the truth. Tell me everything, Nan. He was going to leave us, my Eddie. He was going to leave me, your Auntie June, your mother. He was going to cut us off. I heard him planning it with her, his other woman. I tried to talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen. I had to stop him. I had two little girls, Abby. They needed a home, they needed money. We, we deserved it. I hit him over the head. It was nothing but rage. I don't know if I even wanted to kill him. Maybe I did. One blow was enough. I panicked. You've got to understand, I was only thinking of your mother, of your Auntie June. So you killed their father. He was going to take everything from us. Where is Grandad? I, I weighted him down and pushed him into the lake. That bloody fishing lake he loved so much. He let us play in that lake. I told the girls and Marcus the same story, that he killed himself. We told everyone else that he'd gone missing, the fishing accident. We had to protect the family name the past few years. Marcus has been obsessed with finding the truth for that damn autobiography he's writing. But if he found out, everything I did to protect this family would be for nothing. When your sister told me about Bradley's poisons, <laughs> I nearly laughed. It was so simple. I took them both on the morning of the meeting and waited for my chance. Your Auntie June's ever so clumsy, particularly when you give her a little shove in the back. She dropped that candle straight onto Marcus. <laughs> it went better than I'd planned. I, I was hoping for a distraction uh, to get it into his drink, but your mum picked it up and threw it over him. I rushed to the first aid box and poured the poison onto the wound dressing. I, I don't know which poison I actually used. It was the only one I could get the lid off. You'd think in this day and age, they'd make things like that easier for people with arthritis, wouldn't you? Bradley had told Lottie that the poisons were slow acting, but deadly. So when I watched Marcus walk out of your Auntie June's house with that dressing still on his hand, I knew it was over. At least I thought I did. Seems Marcus isn't that easy to kill after all. Thanks to you. Oh my God. Don't think I don't regret everything I did. I've lived with the pain of it every day since. That's why I've kept this. So I'd never forget what I did. What I did to him. That's what you used to kill. Granddad, no one ever noticed the dark stain on the base. I loved him so much. I know Marcus will never forgive me.
But it wasn't just me and the girls Eddie was leaving, it was Marcus too. Every time Eddie looked at Marcus, all he could see was Marcus's mother. He loved her more than he ever loved me. But it was Marcus who drove him away. That's, that's why he had to move and start again. I, I know Marcus will never believe me, but if I didn't do what I did, he would have nothing to. Hey, Abby. I have to go. Abby? Wait. Hey, Abby. Oh my God, are you okay? I just talked to the doctor. She said it's going to take a long time before I feel like myself again, but I am going to live because of you. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but Nan, she just confessed to everything. She did? <laughs> Damn, I wish I had that on tape. We've got a lot of evidence, but what we need is irrefutable proof. I know what we can do. What? We need to search the lake. Dad's lake? Why? What's in there? Jesus, that's where she put him. So she really did it. Sorry. Hey, listen, don't apologize, Abby. You found the truth. Now look, I am gonna send you some money. Book the first flight out of there you can. Come see me. You're not gonna wanna be around them for this next little bit. There's one last thing I need to do. Just tell us what she said, Mum. I can tell you. Abby. These are the last words I'm going to say to any of you. No, what makes you think we give a flying monkey's rat's Auntie off? June, let's start with you. I know that you've been through a lot in your life, and I might even feel sorry for you if you weren't such a vindictive, cruel bully. I've always wanted to say this to you. I hate you. I, I hate you. Hey, Abs, that is not cool, okay? Toby, how nice of you to volunteer to go next. What can I say about you? Nothing, because there is nothing to you. You are a self-obsessed personality vacuum and a parasite. You follow tragedy around the globe and still somehow manage to make it about you. Like if, if I lost my entire village to a devastating earthquake, you would still be the worst thing to ever happen to me. And Bradley, I might as well complete the set. You, well, you're not actively terrible, but you just really, really creep me out. Thanks. Abby, I don't know what you think. Mum. I spent my whole life trying to live up to whatever it was that you expected from me, but the truth is you never wanted anything from me. You just, you wanted to be better than me. I think just so that no matter what, you could tell yourself that I will never be good enough for you. I wish I had the courage to say this a long time ago. Fuck you. Oh, oh my God, Abby. Oh God, am I next? <laughs> Lottie, you're messed up and really shallow, really, really shallow. But I don't think it's entirely all your fault. So just give me some time and I'll, I'll text you. Okay. Awesome. And by the way, Nan is a murderer. I'll let her fill you in on the details. Nan? Wait, what? I'm not she talking about. Um, What's going on? Don't worry, I know a good lawyer. Do I get a speech too? Listen, just don't go getting yourself poisoned again, okay? Well, I'll take that. I like this new Abby. <laughs> yeah, me too.